Hello everybody, this is Real Cool Adventures. I'm Mike, and this is a Zeus 72 caliber air rifle. We're in South Florida, we're taking out large game. It's going down right now. So if any of you are new to hunting, or if you know anything about hunting, this is pretty much the way everything in life works. Check out the size of this buck right here. Okay, we're in South Florida. Look at the racks in this. Now guess what the problem is? This is the day before hunting season. We're out here scouting out everything, and hopefully we can find this deer tomorrow, but this just gives us hope that we're in the right area. Look at the size of this thing, and he's not even intimidated by us. Hope we find him tomorrow. Now we're ready to roll. Long night, got attacked by giant mosquitoes, Florida State bird. Now we're gonna go hunt and stalk some big bucks. So here we are, we're out here on my buddy's buggy. We are about 45 minutes south of Lake Okeechobee, backed up against the Indian Reservation. And if you look all around in all these woods, this is basically a panther preserve. See how wet it is in front of us? That's another reason you need swamp buggies to get back into areas like this, okay? We're going through all these cow pastures. This water can be anywhere from two to three to four feet. And what it does a lot of times is after a big heavy rain like we had yesterday, it pushes all of these deer where they need food and they'll congregate up into the edge of these pastures. Check this out. All right, so this is what we're using right here. I don't know if we can even get in the frame. This thing's about five and a half to six feet long. This is a Zeus 72 caliber, and it is a dream come true. Look at that thing. So we came to an agreement. I'm allowed to shoot one buck out here, then I really want something six points or better. And it's getting hot, it's getting later in the day, and actually I'm getting a little nervous now at this point because I'm not sure if I'm gonna see anything better. All right, so I'm coming through the gate, I'm getting as close as I can, I'm trying to get a good visual of this deer. I can tell by this stance, he seems like he's a well-hung big buck, but I cannot get a clear shot of his head. I cannot see to confirm that it's not a doe. So rather than take the shot, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and of course, as soon as the deer moved, I realized I may have just made a mistake, but I didn't have a good clean shot. And like I said, I've never really hunted with an air rifle, a high caliber air rifle for deer, so I'm a little skeptical. I want something out in the open, something I can trail a little easier, so I'm gonna pass this one up. They're starting to come out now. Look, there's one right here grazing back there. Deer are starting to move around now. So I had an opportunity to take out that six point or four point. Let's call it a four point. But I made a decision just to see if I could hold out, find something better. We'll see what happens as the day goes on part of the game. You'll see it on here. Uh, I couldn't really get a good clear picture of his head to confirm that it was a buck. So I just kind of backed off and then it was a little on the far side for the shot. So rather than risk it, wound the animal, I held out. Now I'm kind of wondering if I should have taken the shot, but that's how it goes. A lot of times if you don't have a good clear shot, just don't take it. You don't want to wound the animal. And you also want to confirm and make sure it's not a doe. And uh, literally shaking right now because I walked right up on that deer. And we'll get one. All right, so check out all these trees and canopies, all this shade where everything can hide. All these oaks around the edge of these swamps, lots and lots of food for this game. And this area is as old as it gets in Florida. It's untouched. No, nobody comes out here. You have to go through 14 or 15 gates to get to this cow field. And look at how bright green everything is. That's why there's so many deer out here. Look at that. See that, Jim? Yeah, it's a bear or a panther. Look where a bear or a panther clawed this tree up. Must have chased something up this tree or been trying to get away from something. And it literally, cypress is as hard as it gets out here. It's probably one of the hardest woods we have down here. And whatever it is, just shredded it all the way up to the top. Something you gotta think about when you're walking back out here at night. Look right there. 
Yeah, I see. It's starting to come out now. There was no moon last night. They gotta be out today. There's one right where we drove right by him. He's out there waving his giant antlers. Look at that. That's a good deer, too. Mm, right to the gate. We just went through 30 minutes ago. Well, that's a good sign they're moving, starting to move. It's moving the wrong way. <laughs> all right, so look ahead. See all these deer? See that big buck in the corner? Uh, this is the one I want. This is the deer that I've been looking for my whole life. There he is on the edge of the field. We're gonna see how close we can get, see if I can slip up. And I've already made up my mind. This thing is dead on at 100 yards. I'm gonna take a shot from anything from 80 to 100 yards. I think I can get that close. If not, I'm gonna pass it up and we're not gonna, it's not gonna happen today. But let's see if we can do it right now. All right, so I've got my rifle ready. I've got my sights on a really nice deer. I mean, this is the one I've wanted my whole life. There he is in front of me, and I'm a little shaky. We got the buggy off, so nothing's wiggling. I can get a good shot, and I'm aiming for center mass because like I said before, I've never shot a deer with an air rifle. So I wanna make sure I hit it. I was real comfortable at target practice, but here we go, let's do it. Boom, nice, perfect, executed shot. And there he goes. He didn't even make it 30 feet. Grab up there, grab up so I can. I think it was, I think he's over here somewhere. Now another thing is, always be cautious of snakes or anything that can harm you. You know, especially a lot of times you'll watch when I get out and get the gates rather than have the kids get them. When the water levels up high like this, the moccasins, the rattlesnakes, and everything like to get up around these gates. So I'm gonna be real cautious here. I'm watching my step, and I'm knee deep in cow poop. Woo! Yeah! Didn't go 20. <clears throat> That's because the bucks are literally pushing those does. They're getting ready to do their thing. And here we come. If you look ahead, hey buddy. Yeah. And we got children everywhere. It's okay. It's fine. We'll be right back. <laughs> 